It started with a pile of potatoes, 350 tons of them, and a post on social media saying free potatoes. Restaurants weren't buying them anymore because of coronavirus closures, and they were just going to waste in cold storage in Little Oakley, Idaho. That was two weeks ago. Since then, Ryan Cranny of Cranny Farms has been on the 208, CNN, live with Kelly and Ryan, NPR. Did I mention the 208? It's a lot of publicity for a pile of free potatoes. Well, Ryan has decided to turn that attention into an education for three young people living 9,000 miles away. You know, it's that classic tons of tubers turned into a tuition story. Yeah, the original pile is about 7,000 sacks. Two weeks ago, Cranny Farms dumped about 700,000 pounds of potatoes in a pile and told people to come out to Oakley to get them. I didn't understand why people were coming, coming out, really. But they did, by the hundreds, and not just for themselves. Ryan Cranny says most were coming out to pick up potatoes to help other people. And visits to his Facebook post piled up too, with 10,000 shares and nearly 2,000 comments. But like a needle found in, well, a spud stack, there was one pretty simple post that stood out. You know, something like, um, oh, I wish we had some of those potatoes here. And that was all the comment was. It was enough for Ryan to reach out to Susan, who lives in Nairobi, Kenya. Not exactly an easy place to ride out a pandemic like COVID-19. I think the words that she used was, it's a living hell. At first, Ryan sent them some cash, which they used for groceries. But the more he learned of single mom Susan and her three kids, the more Ryan felt compelled to do more. It seems Susan wanted nothing more than for her kids to leave the slums and go to college. Yeah, I think it was like $400 a semester or something to go to school there. A cost Ryan thought he could cover. Doing some quick math, I, I'm like, well, that's, you know, 400 times eight semesters times three kids. You know, you come up with a number that's really not that big of a number. I'm like, I think this is something that, you know, maybe I can leverage this exposure that we've had. Um, with the potatoes, because so many people have, have, have written me or, or asked me, like, you know, what can we do to, can we pay you, please? No, Ryan doesn't need payment for his potatoes, but he would prefer you put that generosity toward the future for one African family. So Sunday, he started a GoFundMe page. It just gives people a chance to have an opportunity to continue to do something great for somebody and to really change somebody's life. A potato pay it forward plan in which Ryan didn't exactly plan to partake. I had no idea whatsoever when we when I put those potatoes out there that it would end up being what it is today. I didn't know I'd be trying to raise the money for somebody in Africa. I had no idea that it would have the reaction it has. There are still a few potatoes out there, by the way. Ryan has been asked why go clear to Kenya to help someone out. There's plenty of opportunity here at home, right? He said Susan's story just touched him, and he believes education is the escape for a lot of people living in Kenyan slums. He also doesn't plan to just send a check, Ryan says. Rather, he would set up a trust with the money he raises. And if you think all of it will head across the Atlantic, you'd be wrong. Ryan said any money above and beyond the Kenyans' kids' tuition will be put into the Casha County Education Foundation. So yeah, some of those russet reserves could end up helping here at home after all.